All right, hello everybody, good afternoon. This is a quick demo of the TCP and portal. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to run through the differences that we have between TCP and HTTP and, and then do a quick recording. So as you can see, we changed this from, um, uh, I think it used to be HTTP recording to virtual uh, service via recording. And this brings up the recording portal or the page for recording. As you can see, there's a drop down here now um, where you can pick whether you want an HTTP recording or a TCP recording. And uh, the differences, yeah, let me point them out to you. This is what the HTTP used to look like. Uh, we got rid, rid of this uh, checkbox and we added these two for encoding type and the request response delimiter. And also, if you notice, this is different too. We had a one box for the target URL, and now we have target host and port. <clears throat> so uh, the encoding box. So first of all, this is a very similar to what Workstation used to look like. Uh, if you want to re treat the request as a text, these boxes are checked, and you have a drop down to pick uh, what chart set you want to use. And what we did with this is we isolated the, like, the more used uh, chart sets, the more frequently used ones. And we also have an a option where you pick all, and then you can see all the chart sets that are available, which is, as you can see, quite a, quite a lot. And same thing with the request, it's similar to this, and you can always like toggle back and forth between subset and all the chart sets. So that's a quick uh, a review of the encoding box for the delimiters for TCP. So we have auto detect. What we decided to do is like uh, the user can uh, check the box and then you know, we will try to auto detect the delimiter on a TCP request. If the box is unchecked, this is very similar to workstation as well. You have uh, um, different choices for delimiter. For example, line endings. There's a fixed length, which has an extra box where you can put in the length it's got regex, uh, very similar to uh, workstation, as I said. And same for the response delimiter. We have the similar ones to uh, workstation. And, that, and just like the request box, you might have that extra, um, you might have an extra input field. So uh, there's also one more difference in SSL, which I'm going to point out in a second, because I'm just going to run a quick SSL uh, recording. So let's see. So for first thing to do, uh, let's make sure that I don't have any recordings going on. So we're going to do a quick TCP SSL recording. First, we give it a name, uh, a quick description if you want. Uh, next, we need to do. All right, so I got a little. It's a little app that I'm running that. One's a TCP server and a SSL TCP server and a little TCP client that is, it just echoes back uh, the request from the client. The server is listening on port 9050, and the client is sending a request to 8050. So that's where we will be listening. So let's run this real quick. So we got TCP server listening on 80. Uh, sorry, 9050. Yeah. We'll go to the client. Okay, for our first, let's set up the recording. So, like I said, we're listening on uh, port 9050. Our client is going to hit port 8050, so that's where we should listen. Uh, we're going to add SSL to this one because that's what the SSL app that we're using. We thought the pertinent information for the cert the val uh, it's been validated and now we oh we need to check this because there's also client using SSL so for this one I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use UTF-8 so it's easier to see the uh, transaction instead of binary and I'm gonna use a uh, auto detect so here let's start the recording we'll go back to our app and we'll send in a simple request. And 
as you can see, we got a response back from the server, and we captured the transaction right here. So now we can stop the recording, and I want to point out another another uh, another thing that we have with Auto Detect is when you click the next screen, this accordion is going to give you what we detected. So. I did Hello World SSL, which is 13 characters, plus the cache return is 14. So that's what we have for the request and the response. Um, if you didn't select uh, Auto Detect, this recording would not appear. So we'll go next. Let's save and deploy TCP SSL recording. Let's save it. So you can see um, the service is created and it was deployed. So now we go look at server console. You can see that our uh, recording has been launched and it's been up for like 32 seconds. Uh, let's um, run a quick transaction against the service. So first of all, I'll shut down the server that I had running, and I'll start up the TCP client again, which is listening on port 8050, and, and our service is listening on, 80, on Send the same request, got the response, transaction count is up. You do a quick inspection view on the request, we've got a match and a response. And I also want to point out that in workstation uh, the the VSI and well I've got to refresh this. The VSI and the VSM were created and saved on workstation. So that's pretty much a quick SSL recording. Um, I think that's all I really had in, uh, to, to demo today. Um, oh, there was one question that had come in around SSL. Um, if you could go back to the recording screen. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you look at SSL, there was only one box that came up. Or is it because they're only allowing one key store file? Yeah, yeah, one key store file. It was HTTP. Uh, but it is exactly similar to workstation. You have two, you can have two certs. With TCP, okay. we just use one. Okay. Uh, can we do multiple recordings? Yes, I believe we can. Yeah. Right? Let's yeah. Try that out. Yeah. There's recording. We can do a start a recording here. Let's select TCP one, and um, you could easily do TCP two. It just works. It looks similar to uh, HTTP. Great, and I believe the the limiter on the tab limit is 40, so uh, up to right. 40 tabs. Great. Great. Uh, can you show us the recording without using checked request delimiter auto detect? Hector is sure. asking to see if we can do that. Sure. I will also not use SSL on that one as well. So we're starting. We call it TCP. Non. Oops. Detect. TCP. You said without. I'll just. I'll just pick the first two that come up. Terminated line endings and no response limiter. We'll do local. Host. Thousand. I believe this was eight thousand. And we'll, I'm going to leave this as UTF-8 because it's easier to see the transactions. So we'll go back to our uh, client. There's our transaction. And as I pointed out earlier, since we didn't do auto detect, when we go to the next page, 
we won't have that, that uh, accordion for what was detected from auto detect. And we'll, I guess I can save and deploy this one as well. I'll go look at Death Test Console. There it is. Perfect. Yeah, th there's our transaction. I just ran it, and um, I wanted to point out that we got a match when I ran it to uh, to the listening port 8000. So that's that's how it works without auto detect. Okay. 